as we continue our thoughts of Cheshbon HaNefesh for 5771, the Aserah Simei we're talking about stories from the Chavetz Chaim on how to approach evaluating yourself and how to encourage yourself to act properly. In Radin, where the Chavetz Chaim Rabbi Yisrael Meir HaKohen was the Rosh Yeshiva, he used to on Friday nights tell the Talmidim a sicha, divrei Torah, divrei Musr. One Friday night he said, tonight is not your regular night. I have a secret to tell you, a secret to share. But I will only share the secret at 3 o'clock in the morning. At 3 a.m. you have to come back. So the Vachrim, they went back to the yeshiva and they told their friends and their friends told their parents and their families and the whole world, the whole city began to know that the Chavetz Chaim had a special secret to share. At 3 o'clock in the morning in front of the Chavetz Chaim's small house, there were many, many people, not just the Bachram from the yeshiva. And it was there and then that the Chavetz Chaim commenced. Yes, I have a, a secret to share with you. A secret how to evaluate yourself and how to approach life. And this is the secret. Elokai, neshama shenasata bi, Tahorahi. He translated into Yiddish, and I'll translate into English. My God, the neshama, the, the neshama, the soul that you gave me, it is pure. Ata burasa, ata yetsarta, ata nafachta bi, vata meshamra bekirbi. You created it, you formed it, you blew it into me, and you protected in me. Viata asid. Lachazira bi, la asid lavo. Lachazira bi, lachazira bi, he repeated. And everyone was dumbfounded. We say this every day, the Baruch what, what's, what's, what's the secret? The Chavetz Chaim answered, the secret is what does it say? It doesn't say lachazira bi, that it's going to return to me, a soul. That's going to happen. It's going to be like Zirabi, with a Mapike, that specific soul. The soul, as it is when you die, that is how it will be eventually be returned to you. If it is Tahar, if it is pure, after Tchiyas Mason, it will be returned to you as a pure one. If it is impure, if it was ripped, you're going to get back the same ripped or impure Neshama. So you have to make sure that the way that you neshama, that you treat it, will be to keep it in the purity. Because otherwise what will happen if you don't take care of your neshama and you let it become blemished, you're going to be embarrassed when you come at an olam haba, tchiyas hamesim, and you see Moshe and Aaron and Avram and all the pure and full and complete neshamas. And you're going to look at yours and you're going to see the tears and the rips and the blemishes. Keeping that in mind reminds us how we have to treat every day, but especially during the Aseris of Shuba. May we all may we be all sealed in the Book of Life and have a wonderful year.